Hey guys, I'm Sophie from Sophie Looms and today I'm finally back with another tutorial after a like a really long time. Today I am here with these Amada bracelets designed by me. I actually designed these in 2023 20, years ago, so that's kind of a while ago, but I never made a tutorial and I thought they were just pretty cute little bracelets. They only take two pin bars on your loom, so no hook only, none of that. Pretty simple, pretty quick. It might be like kind of a nice break just from all the loomy groomy you're doing, or if you just make bracelets, this is definitely a really fun one to try out. So yeah, I haven't actually made a tutorial in like two years. So I did post a video, but that one was actually filmed like two years ago. I just posted it. And I feel like it's always like a huge thing for me to make YouTube videos because like, yeah, like posting them just takes so long. But today I'm finally here with these bracelets. So I hope you guys like them. If you do like what you're seeing, make sure you guys give it a, give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below what colors you're making them in and make sure to tag me on Instagram and subscribe to my channel so you never know when I'm going to post because obviously I'm pretty inconsistent and I might post whenever so you never really know so I would definitely recommend subscribing to see what I'm up to and yeah tag um a mod bracelet on Instagram and tag sophie.looms if you make it so I can repost it on my story and like you know I'll definitely see it and I'll definitely um be excited to see some people making this so yeah Without further ado, let's get into the supplies that you'll need to make these bracelets. So the first thing you're gonna need is this rainbow loom. This everything basically, well yeah, everything here since there's no stuffing or safety eyes can be found at rainbowloom.com. So this is the loom today. You're only actually gonna need two pin bars. So if you don't um, have the third one on your loom, then you're actually good for this design because it's a two pin bar design. Of course the hook, this is just my metal tipped hook. It's a little rusty, but it's from rainbowloom.com. These are just great hooks for almost anything you could do in rainbow loom. Some bands. So actually what's interesting about this bracelet is that when you lay it on the loom, this white color is actually your border. So for that color, I think I'm gonna be using this mother of pearl um, color today from rainbow loom as this white color. And then for the two other colors that you can kind of see a little bit more kind of on the back here, I'm gonna be using um, this fairy pastel pink from the sweets collection and right here we have pink lemonade which i don't think i've actually ever used in anything it's pretty similar to pink pearl which i have used in things but i've actually don't think I'm, i've ever used this pink lemonade color so it's gonna be the first time so pretty exciting so yeah um, oh and i actually forgot the c-clips so for the c-clips i'm just gonna be using um i think this red one just because it kind of fits and this bracelet is perfect for valentine's day just because of the colors i'm using and it's just a nice quick simple one and it's really unique so it's perfect for if you have a valentine or if you want to make it for your friend or basically whenever so yeah this is my c-clip this is this basically just comes in a lot of rain balloons newer kind of products i guess so yeah, now we can finally get started. So grab your loom and make sure the arrows are pointing up. And this is my first bracelet tutorial and my first um, tutorial in a while. So sorry if it's like not as good as my other tutorials. They're just kind of different. But yeah, grab your border color and we're just basically going to be laying a normal border. So from this peg to this peg, we're just going to place your first border band. You're just going to stretch it out right here. And then, yeah, we're just going to make ourselves a nice normal border. So only using two pegs. So you're gonna go up right here, make sure your arrows are pointing up. And you're just gonna lay your border all the way until the end of the loom. And looming on camera is actually a lot slower just because you've got your phone in the way. So sorry if I'm like kind of slow. But yeah, I actually designed this bracelet a really long time ago. So it's kind of crazy. I used to like kind of play around a lot more with designs and I actually haven't designed any new Lumi Gurumi designs um, since 2021. Um, I actually never realized my Lumi Gurumi designs could actually be like kind of decent. Like I was like before I kind of designed them, I was always like just kind of like experimenting and I didn't even know they would turn out that good. But also I would also want to mention um, the video that's actually my most viewed YouTube video, which is um, the Lumi Groomy for Beginners, which is actually getting some great feedback and I'm really grateful for you guys um, enjoying it and that it's helping you guys learn Lumi Groomy because I definitely needed one of those videos when I was starting. I started with like the Craft Mood Seahorse and like I already loomed at the time so I was like 
kind of getting the hang of it, but it definitely didn't look that great. So definitely wish I could have had a nice Lumi Groomy Basics video. And I'm glad that mine is helping you guys. So anyway, I am done. It should look kind of something like this. And then you're just going to take one last band and you're just going to connect it from these last two pegs. And that one's a little bit, look at that one. I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use this one. So we're just going to put it from this peg to that peg. So now I'm going to grab one of my um, middle colors. So as you can see, um, there's this green and red. And I'm just going to grab these. Um, well, I actually are going to need both at the same time. So I'm just going to grab a few of these and a few of my pink lemonade bands for the middle colors. So you're gonna grab your first band and these are kind of gonna be laid in a triangle kind of motion, almost like the YouTube symbol, but it's the first one you're gonna lay is actually backwards. So you're gonna put it on these three pegs, this one, this one, and that one. So you're gonna grab it, you're gonna stretch it kind of like you would in a single chain, just from this one to this one, and then you're just going to take the end and you're just going to put it up to that one. And also make sure it's not too twisted because I feel like that can make the bracelet a little bit, a little bit messier if you don't make sure it's like not twisted. So yeah, so it should look like that. And then you're going to grab, um, I would also recommend alternating for this design. You don't have to alternate, but especially if you're making it for the first time, I do recommend it. Um, just because it's going to look better and make it easier. Like in this one, I kind of tried something different and it does look good, but it's kind of hard to like see and it was a little bit confusing for me to hook it and stuff. So yeah, I would recommend alternating. So you're just going to do the same thing, but now you're just going to do it this way. So it's kind of like a normal YouTube symbol. So just from here to here and then here, I'll do it again. I'll actually zoom in to make sure you can see. It's already actually zoomed in the most it can be, so... You're basically just going to, I'm going to teach you, like, you can go up first, too. So you can do that and then stretch it to this one. But make sure um, they're overlapping. You're not, like, putting it, like, up here. They're, make sure that these are overlapping because you definitely need that for when you're hooking. And then you're just going to do this all the way until the end of the, your loom. So from here to here and then up. And just kind of watch what I'm doing if you don't get what I'm saying. Because I don't know, like, the level of um, people who are watching this video, like, I feel like if you've already made a few bracelets, this one's pretty easy. But if, if this is like your first one, um, I feel like you would probably get confused. And there's really no such thing as kind of doing like a basics of like loom bracelets just because they're all so different. But a lot of the borders are the same. So yeah, just kind of watch what I'm doing. And I guess I'll explain it like one more time. You just basically just, you can put it kind of straight and then you stretch it like that. So it's a triangle and make sure you're alternating your colors. And I really do like this color combo. I really love, I feel like when you do Lumi Groomy, it's kind of a lot of like plain colors. And when I do bracelets, I always get to like experiment with these like fun colors that I usually don't use in Lumi Groomy. So it's kind of fun. Once in a while, I'll just kind of go back to the basics and try out some bracelets. Like I said, um, this one is from three years ago. I've said that like about a million times. So I'm going to try to go quicker. I know it's kind of hard, like I said, when you're on camera. So I'm just going to like... Try to speed up a little. I just want it to look good, so that's kind of the problem. Because taking your time is, like, really good in Rainbow Loom, but at the same time, like, if you don't have time, it could be pretty um, time-consuming. I just said time a lot. That was kind of weird. So we're almost at the end of our loom. Oh, this one is going to be kind of thin. I, I just don't want to use a thin one. This one's nice and thick. And I like the, um, both of these colors. So nice. No, oh my god, I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm sorry about that. So yeah, I think the last band I'm actually placing is um, this one, which is this triangle. And you're not going to put one on this one. Instead, you're just going to turn your loom around so the arrows are pointing towards you this time, right there. And you're going to grab one of your border colors and you're going to make a cap band. So a cap band is basically just where you find this one, which has no pink on it. And you're just going to put it on the peg. And then you're going to twist it. And then you're going to put this end back onto the peg like that. And now it's time for hooking. So you're going to grab your hook. And this is actually where, obviously, the bracelet kind of comes in. And that's how you get like your little twisty kind of shape here. So, this is kind of hard to film. I just want to make sure you guys can see it, but hopefully you can. So, you're going to go in to um, this cap band. Make sure you're pushing back 
both ends of the cap hands, like not like I'm doing right now. I'm kind of struggling. I don't know why. I was doing this fine. And then of course, when the camera comes, it's like super hard, but yeah, you're going to push it back like that. Grab your band. And instead of just um, pulling it to where you would usually pull it right here, you're actually going to put it up right here to this one, to the one you'd usually put this one at. Um, so yeah, instead of like, obviously where it's kind of telling you to go, you're going to push it or you're just going to place it kind of right there. So you're going to loop it up and then you're going to go back in, grab this band and you're going to put it to where you were supposed to put that other band. So basically just right here. And it kind of wants to go here too, which is kind of weird, but yeah, you're just going to place it like that. So instead of just doing how you would normally loop it, you kind of just reversed it and crisscrossed that, if that makes any sense. If not, just kind of rewind and try to follow what I did. I'm sorry if that didn't make sense, but yeah, I like have never really done a bracelet tutorial on my channel. And like I also said, it's been kind of a while. So now this one, your goal is to get this pink band. So you're going to push back, go through and push it back and you're going to grab this um pink lemonade band it obviously might not be the um same color for you but you're going to push it off or pull it off and you're going to hook it forward like that pretty simple right and now you're going to do some outwards um looping where you're going to grab the second to last band and make sure you're not going in for this one you actually want to stay on the outside and you're just going to get this second to last band from the bottom on your hook and you want to um, stretch it and lift it over and then you want to go back in to this single band right here you want to get your last band in there and instead of hooking it forwards you want to hook it to that um band right there sorry if there's any background noises i know i there was this one video where i said that like a million times like i was like always talking about the background noises so i hope there's not that many in this one I really want my videos to be like nice and professional, but maybe I should try to like add some music, but if you guys know me, you know that I don't like editing my videos. So that might never happen. I just, I don't know how you guys like edit, like if you have a YouTube channel and you edit your videos, I just feel like it would take hours and hours. But anyway, so you're gonna push back. So this time it's a little different, right? Cause th that first one was kind of like, you know how you didn't put the triangle on that one? This one, you actually did put the triangle, so. You're gonna push back the band and instead of grabbing, you see this pink one, you actually wanna get this one. It's always, you always wanna get the one that's here, like on the side. This is the one you wanna push back and grab. So you push it back, you grab, oh, it's kind of not really working. I'm really struggling, I'm sorry. Okay, so you're gonna push this band and you're just gonna pull, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. You're just gonna pull it or place it on this um peg right in front like that and then you're going to grab the second to last band again from the outside you're not going into anything you're just going to grab that and you're just going to stretch it and pull it over like that and then you're going to go back in for your last band on the bottom right here instead of hooking it forward you're going to hook it to the side like that and i'm going to um, maybe explain it like two more times um, and then I guess I'll just like talk and like try to make it quick. So this video isn't like 30 minutes long. Cause that'd be kind of sad. So yeah, you're going to push through everything. And remember the one you want to get is always this triangle one right here. So you want to get that one, right? You're going to pull them all, push them all back. You're going to grab that one. Loop it forward. Then it's time to get the second to last band on the outside. So you're going to grab this one. Take it, pull it, loop it over. And then you're gonna go back in, grab this last band, and instead of hooking it forward, you're gonna hook it like kind of like a single chain, like a zigzag, just to this bag right here. And I'm gonna explain it one more time, and then I'm gonna kind of do it a bunch of times. And like I said, or like I said with a different part, like if you don't get it, you can totally rewind the video and like try to figure it out. But I just don't want this video to be like a million minutes long. So yeah, so you're just gonna, push through and once again this is the band you want the one right here push everything away and grab this band loop it forwards and then it's time to get the second to last band so that's the last one it's always this one over here the border band right here make sure you're not going from the inside you're not going here you're going on the outside so you're grabbing this one hooking it over 
And then you're going back in. <coughs> Sorry. You're grabbing that last band and you're hooking it, not to the front, but to this peg. So that's basically the hooking process and that's how you make the bracelet. I am gonna do the rest of it. I'm just not gonna explain it because it's basically the same thing up your loom. But like I said, if you don't get it, make sure you guys rewind the video. So obviously a lot has happened since I like did a whole speaking thing, which is kind of crazy actually. Um, that, that I haven't like actually done like something talking. Like I've obviously like posted on Instagram and everything. So make sure you guys follow that Toby.looms and tag me um, in your photos of this bracelet. Um, but yeah, I haven't like actually talked to you guys since like 2021, which is like a really long time ago. And that was kind of, I don't even know if I could say this, but that was kind of like my like prime, I guess, of my business. I don't even like, I'm still obviously doing well, but I feel like that year I was just doing so such great things just because I didn't have as much like schoolwork. Now I'm like really, I have like a ton of schoolwork and I like never get time to loom, but I've been trying to loom a little bit more lately, including even making this YouTube tutorial, which is kind of crazy because I haven't done that like in a while. And I don't know why, because I feel like YouTube is such a great thing to be doing. It's just like, I even got like a comment saying like, I want more videos, which is so nice. And I feel like it's so great that people actually watch these videos and like learn something. And that's just really great to help people. I always like helping people. And maybe some of my customers too will, um, I'll like maybe tell them about my channel and then they can like make this bracelet and it'll be nice. I just love um, selling things and meeting my customers. It's just such a great experience doing craft fairs. I haven't done one since November, which is so sad. But hopefully I do one soon. There's like the um, craft fair company that I usually go to. There's like two, but one of them starts their fairs in March, but I have a ton of stuff in March. I have like dance, um, I have dance, competitions and then I'm seeing um, one of my favorite um, groups in March so I might not be able to do a, f a craft fair which is really sad so then I have to do April but then the big fair I do is in May so I don't like know what I'm gonna do because like April's good for Easter but then I might not have enough stuff for my May fair and I feel like I've just been doing less craft fairs like there was a time I did them every month which is I know it might seem like not that much but I don't sell it online so my only chance to sell things is um like during craft fairs. So I feel like I just need to because it's just, I just love it. And it's also just great. And that's every way just to make money and meet my customers, see people happy with my creations. It's just always a fun experience. And to make sure that I'm never bored. Like if I don't have anything to do, I just loom and it's just great. I love looming. And I've also been seeing a lot of loomers lately, like get back into the Rainbow community, which is so great. I saw like emerald looms which, who was like looming for like a while and like this other account um that followed me on instagram which is like really crazy because th these people were loomers like in like 2015 and they're just coming back and i just love it because looming is just so great and it's so timeless to me like how can you get tired of looming it's just always just so nice and relaxing oh and i'm almost done so i guess i should be like <laughs> showing you guys what i'm doing so this one is kind of just the same the one right here i'm just kind of like doing my hooking process, but this one is where it gets a little bit different. I actually wasn't 100% sure what to do because I made myself a video in 2020 telling myself how to make it, but I don't really know if I like what I did because I was, that was 2020, but what I did was, or what I'm doing now, I guess, is um, getting the second to last band, even though there's no triangle, I'm looping it over, going in, grabbing the border band, looping it, I guess, forward. Honestly, if you guys want to um, loop it here, you can feel free to. That's another, that's what I did in the 2020 video, but I don't know if I like that. So I'm just looping it forward. And then you can also like, this is optional, but you can also loop over this band. I don't know if that looks good, but I'm going to do it for this one just to see how it looks. Um, but you don't have to do that. That's just the second to last band. And, oh, did I just, I don't know. I just took off a, a band. Hopefully that wasn't. Wait, wait, let me just fix that real quick. I just like was trying to show you guys what band to do and I literally just took it off. So that's great. But yeah, we're almost done. So that's amazing because we're going to see our bracelet. So you're going to go in, grab this band. 
hook it to the middle and then you can take everything off but make sure you don't take off this peg because this one has your like loose bands on it so if you take this one off your bracelet's gonna break so make sure you take the whole thing off with your hook but just not this peg right here so let's take it off and see how it looks i do recommend using the hook just to make sure like your fingers might rip the bracelet and then all your hard work is gonna be gone so don't do that and let's see how our bracelet looks definitely excited about this color combo Ooh, it's looking good so far it's kind of double-sided like i don't know if you could actually wear this on both sides but it does look good on both sides and this sound is actually like i've seen so many like tiktoks of people like ripping the bracelet off the loom and people love it so oh my god i was literally almost um about to rip this peg off and i would have like literally just ruined my bracelet but luckily i realized but this looks so nice it's so elegant i love the mother of pearl and the pink like that looks so good i do highly recommend this color combo love it and now we're just gonna make an extension so i usually just do it on the hook um i guess i'll show you guys on the loom just because this is like a loom bracelet so what we're gonna do is stick our hook into everything make sure you have everything because if you don't have everything like i said your bracelet's gonna break and that would be sad so just make sure you got all your pet uh all your bands and i'm just gonna be um putting this on a peg of the loom that i don't need i never make the extension like this but i feel like just because i'm making a tutorial i should so put it just on like just stretch it onto a peg and make sure it's not breaking because i don't want to be responsible for any broken bracelets that would be so sad i know how it feels believe me i like have failed a million bracelets and basically, however long your wrist is, um, I, when my wrist was really small, I used to do seven bands. I, I usually do like maybe like 12 now. I don't know. But you're just going to make like a normal single chain, like zigzag on the loom. And if you're a loomer, you should probably know how to do this. I mean, most loomers do. If you don't, that's okay. You just basically, it's really simple. It's like the, like if you guys have seen like that iconic um, single chain tutorial by Rainbow Loom. This is the nice little zigzag. This is just how you do it. So I'm just gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is in your border color, by the way. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And then we're just gonna do 12. Cause I feel like 12 is just a nice number. It's nice and even. And I feel like that's the number I usually do. It might be a little more or less, but I'm pretty sure 12 is a good length. And my wrist is like pretty small, but like it's, it's not like tiny. So you're gonna grab your bracelet and make sure Make sure you're getting the whole thing. Like I said, like make sure you're just going in, getting every single part of that bracelet. The four, it should be four loops, so. And then you can put your finger through it and you're gonna attach it right, right here. And you're gonna put it right on this peg. And then you're gonna go through everything and you're gonna grab that bottom band, make sure it's, pulled through everything right here. Sorry if you didn't see that. And then you're just gonna hook your single chain. You should basically, if you don't know how to do this, it's super simple. It's literally, you just push back these bands, grab the single chain band. You could also do this on your hook. I usually do that just cause it's a lot quicker. But yeah, I don't know if I've ever made an extension like this. It's actually kind of crazy. I've definitely, I've seen people do it in um, tutorials, but uh, this is bringing back the memories right here. Just this classic single chain on the loom. I haven't done this in, I feel like, so long. Then you grab your bands and you can just rip that off the loom. And you can add your C-clip. So I'm going to use a colored C-clip. This has been coming lately with a lot of Rain Blooms products. Where is it? Oh, this red one. And they come in a lot of different colors. You can find them on just Rainbow Looms site or um or um their products at Michaels I think or they have this store called Gabe's that they're doing the products with now some of them so yeah you're gonna grab your cap band that's just the circular kind of shaped water band and you're just gonna put it on the other end of your c-clip right here like that and guess what we're done look how cute that is I'm gonna try it on love that Oh, wow. It's like pink. Like, oh, I actually love this. This is actually looking so good. I, I'm like obsessed and it goes with my friendship bracelet. You guys have to make this. This is great. And remember, tag me on Instagram. I really want to see your bracelets. I promise you guys, I will repost it, like it, comment it, comment on it, like, like, comment and subscribe. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, I'll see you guys hopefully in the next video, hopefully sooner than in two years. And yeah.
bye guys.